What is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here, bringing you another episode of SimCity here on Aviator Games, and today, we are going to be building another city, because we got a crap ton of likes last time, and you guys want us to have a third city, sent technically fourth city, but third city, because Aviator Topia, let me quickly show you guys, it's on its last limb here, it needs power, it needs trash, it needs money, it needs everything, we're kind of just using it like last time still, to get a little bit more money to Futurama and Slumdog, so Futurama's worth about 5 million, and Slumdog's worth about 1 million right now, so that's pretty good, I'm pretty happy that they have that much in the bank so we can really build up these cities, but let me show you what I've done to Futurama, so basically we finished this whole tower out with a lot of medium apartments, and then I started building this, finally, our first other ever, uh, what is it, what is it considered, like a luxury tower? Let's see, uh, Elite Mega Tower. Okay, so it's our first ever Elite Mega Tower. Now, you guys, I have this, this sky bridge, but I think I'm under the impression, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, that I need to build the sky bridge into one of these layers as I'm building it. So, like, with these skyscrapers, it's too late. But this one, I can still do the sky bridge. But, like, with these, it's all too late, which I think is stupid. But I think that's how it goes, so... And I think you can have eight uh, towers in total, and right now we have five already started. So we're going to build a sky bridge level on this one. Now, I, it kind of sucks that it takes up a whole level, but we're going to do it so we can have sky bridges. Or maybe you only need one sky bridge station and it can connect to all of these. We'll just have to kind of see. <laughs> see what happens. I hope that's the way it is. We just build this one station and we can connect it to everything. Uh, because I guess it's kind of like a road and everything and it eases traffic. But okay, we've had a huge complaint from Omega Co, of course, that uh, their deliveries are slow. I even added some flying things to help deliveries and stuff, but these businesses aren't all getting their Omega, or whatever we're making. <laughs> so I made even more business and factory sections, and now they're telling me to make another uh, Omega Co factory, or expand this one, which this one's all the way expanded now, so I guess we're gonna have to make another one. So let's see where we can build this really quickly. I think we're gonna build it right here on the side, yeah, we'll build it right here on the side. Uh, we actually got this Omega Co thing upgraded too, like our headquarters, so now we can like, I can't even remember what we can do, but there's like little special things we can do. Okay, so we can start to upgrade this. We're gonna just go right off the bat and upgrade it fully. So let's grab all these little things. I don't even know, what are these? These are, oh, these are production lines. Yeah, see, this is what they said we could have added, but we already had all of them, so. Now this should really suck our, our ore and oil levels dry, but look at how good this factory is running. Look at it. It's got full supplies almost, So, and we still have stuff in each of our storage facilities. So I'm, I'm pretty confident we can run two of these with no problem. And it'll create more jobs and all that. Right now it's going to tell us we have a crisis, but we do not have a fucking crisis, lady. This is just not open yet, and it's not making or taking inventory yet. But um, a lot of you guys said the wellness center takes a little bit to start working. Where is it? It's right here. Some of people are still complaining about being sick, but not as many. So I think it's starting to kick in, and it's starting to work. So we're treating 19 people. We could treat 350, so there's no freaking problem here. So this city is doing very well. Look at you guys. We're making about 30 grand an hour. We're worth nearly $5 million, and our population is almost 200,000. And now that we have Skybridge, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so let's see how this Skybridge thing works. Okay, so I'm going to click this. Okay, so how does this work? I don't understand. Does, see, I, I, yep, I bet my god, I bet my ass. This needs, this needs, um, another building has to have Skybridge for that to work. That is fucking stupid. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that is so stupid. But, you know, whatever, we'll have to, we'll have to make another building with Skybridge. I think all the elite towers, how about that? All the elite towers will have Skybridge. So, haha, if you live in these poor peasant towers, you don't get Skybridge. Only the elitists get Skybridge. <laughs> Skynet. Okay, so Skybridge will be in the elite towers. I made up my mind. We'll put an elite tower here, then we'll have one more over here, one over here, one over here, and that should be all of our towers. We'll be good to go. And then this side will be a lot of business and factory area. So, our population's gonna get crazy, you guys. So, let's head over. And we're going to start another city. Because by next episode, you guys, Aviatopia will no longer exist at all. It'll be completely gone. So uh, that land will be available, maybe. But let's go here. You guys, you know I wanted to use this. Look at how much water this place has. Look how much wind energy. They have boat and rail access. It's like the perfect place to build like a Hoteltopia. And I definitely think we're going to start doing that. I I'm not sure what we're going to use it for just yet. Maybe we'll kind of... I don't know, I, maybe make an eco-friendly neighborhood, so 
if you don't want to live in futuristic land or if you don't want to live in the slums because Aviatopia no longer exists, maybe this will just be a nice community with a bunch of houses and happy little residents and and you got the ocean and all that stuff. Okay, so this is where the highway runs. This is where it enters. Um, it's kind of weird because you got these canyons and all these little thingy things. Uh, but, you know, let's see what we can do here. So we're going to take out loans. Oh, we can't yet because we need to... Okay, so we need to connect roads. Okay, so let's let's start right away with just... Uh, I don't know what... So if this is going to be just straight up residential, I don't know how built up it's going to get. I almost want to just keep streets, but avenues might be a necessity. I'm going to go to just streets now. Okay, so let's go straight up like this. Okay, so that's one. Now we're going to go right like this, and that is two. I'm going to go all three of these lines, because that is pretty good. Oh, no. That is uh, crooked. Why did why you get rid of the line? I needed the line. Okay, so there's one. I don't know. This is, like, extremely dangerous. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let's put this there and this there. So that's our first area for neighbor. This is going to be kind of ugly. We're going to have to see. So we can't place anything here, so that kind of sucks. But we'll place some houses here and here and here. Um, and then we're going to... I think we're going to place a ton of businesses... Like, uh, right along the highway. Okay, so we'll just... Tons of businesses and all that good stuff right here, right along the main highway. So people, when they come up the hill... So these are going to be the only two access points we have to go up the hill. So you'll actually have at least an entrance and an exit to go up and down this giant freaking canyon. And then the rest of this will be residential. So we'll have to see. I don't know what I want to make this town. I'm thinking residential, but I'm not sure. I... I just, it's, it's so hard to decide. So, we're going to buy some power from where? Slumdog? Yeah, we'll buy power from Slumdog. We'll also buy some water from Slum We can make our own water, though. We can have our own water. Let's just, let's quickly take out some loans for 100000 apiece. Let's take out all three. And let's get the city started on its own. So, we'll buy, you know, electric and sewage. Because we want this town to be very clean and energy efficient. But we're definitely going to have our own water. So let's see. So we can get this giant, uh, this giant hydro pump system, I guess. I researched it, and I don't know how this works. I thought you could put it in the ocean. I thought that's something you could do with this. Well, how about this? Okay, so since we're right on the highway, let's put a giant pump right here. Okay, so giant pump, and then we're going to just add what? Uh, oh, that's a filter pump. We don't need a filter pump. This land's not going to be dirty. Because we're trying to keep it really clean, people. Okay, so that should be way more than enough water. Uh, so that's going to start to pump. Electricity will soon get to our town, hopefully. They're all needing water and electricity. That's not good. Okay, so let's start building some more roads. So let's get back on the high-density streets. Uh, we're going to go right there. And then, see, they're saying we could build another road here. And I think we will, because we want it to be like, Everywhere you go, everywhere, do do yeah, there's a heart, there's a heart. Somebody who needs you, right? No? When you're lost out there and you're all alone. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, name that theme song for a million dollars. Okay, so let's see. I can cut this too. Uh, let's do it. We're making blocks, you guys. So we're not looking for Skyscraper City here. We're looking for straight up, you know, Citizens R Us City. Okay, so we can't even build houses there because it's too much of an incline. So this incline is pretty annoying, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll, we'll pop a whole bunch of houses here. Uh, we're going to start. We want this town to be wealthy, uh, but we don't want it to cost us a billion dollars to have these parks. So let's see. Let's kind of decide. Since they're really small areas, what is this? How much is this in taxes? $40 an hour or we can have, what was this one an hour? 120 Okay, so what I'm going to do is every other like this I'll have a park okay so then we'll have some pretty nice sized houses going up and then I'm gonna put a park there so now this whole area is totally covered a hundred percent park wise and then we'll uh, place the parks like this because those are opposite there we go so this city's looking good we don't even have a name for the city you guys leave name ideas so uh, here in the comment section leave name ideas and let's let's think kind of what to kind of name it so it's going to be a utopia. I know that much. I'm going to try to make it like this 
this, you know, um, if you ever saw Stepford Wives, it's going to be like that creepy ass place. Um, what do we need to get this? Maintain rating, have a population of 10,000. Okay, so we don't need a town hall. I don't think we're going to get a town hall because I think it's useless. Now they're saying, they're complaining about freight producers. We could get some freight. Um, why not put some freight like all the way up to this bend? I think that would be good for freight. And then over here, we're going to focus on nothing for now. Because maybe that's where we're going to put all of our utilities and stuff in the future. Um, okay, so what else are you complaining about, guy? Okay, nothing. Okay, so all the parks are well. These houses are going up nice. It only fits like one and a quarter mansion. That sucks. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we have $160,000 left. We got to get started on everything early. That's that's my big goal. But let's, let's kind of, let's take a second here. We have 300 population. Okay. So, with these parks, we're only, like, really getting one big house, and then that's about it. But the land value will be really high. Maybe we don't need such tight squares anymore. But I don't know. Maybe we can keep... I never really did a city in tight squares like this. So, I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see how that would work. So, we're, maybe we'll give it a try. Uh-oh. I went too far on that. I went too far on that. Okay, so let's split that open. Oh, God. that. Why is that so curvy? Okay. Okay, so that's that's weird. But we'll yeah, I guess we'll work with it. Okay, so <laughs> that looks horrible. Um but we'll we'll put, you know, houses here and it'll look fine. Okay, so there we go. Houses should fit there. None can go there again. So that's kind of a rip off. It's just it's like a waste of land. Okay, so we'll place one here and one there, and that should help populate the area. Now, parks do have to go... How much is this per hour? Uh, we'll put one here, and then, like, one there, and then one way over here. Okay, and then we'll even put one right there, because there's nowhere else that row could go, and that way all those houses get nice and fancy. And then actually... Actually, no. No, I'm not even going to start there. But this can get a park, too. Maybe we can get some mansions going up. So parks are definitely always going to be a huge cost <laughs> when we're doing these cities. Okay, so let's see. They're saying sewage. What? Is there a problem? Oh, no. They're just telling us, you know, we got you got sewage things that you can do. You got all this. Now, we don't have anyone picking up our trash yet, but we're not going to have a trash problem for a while. What do you want? Wind power? Water power? Don't we have water power? Nuclear power. Oh, we didn't do the fusion. We didn't do wave power. We got to do wave power. Research that in Futurama. And then we can uh, build these. Because these are going to be good in our city because we have this big boat area. So this city might have to focus on tourism a little bit. Because we have we have rail, we have water, and we can have air. So we could put like an airport up here. Where would the railroad be? Where is the rail station? Or the rail track? Let's see. Uh, When you're lost out there and you're all low. Um, I don't see any railroad. It says it has a railroad connection. But maybe it doesn't. Because my one of my cities said it had a like water connection and it didn't. Damn, this one might not have rail. Okay, well this can have air and water, and I guess that can be a pretty good formula for success. Is that Aviator Topia right there? I think that's Aviator Topia. Oof, that is run down. That is scary. Okay, so a petition to build a mega station. Okay, so let's see. Now what else does it need? We do need some type of education. Oh look at yeah, we got the mega station now or whatever. So we can build this and this is monorail. And this is goes all over the place. And that would be amazing. So that's something we can build. Because this is going to be more of a, just I don't know, like a prettier looking city. So we have 225 population. We're not making any money yet. We're going to keep the tax at 9%. See what we can do with that. But let's keep expanding our roads so we can get more population in here. Okay, so I'm going to build one giant road all the way down to there. Um, and then I'm going to build one more giant road all the way down to there, and we're going to connect that. Now, let's build one more road right to there, and then connect it like that. Um, okay, because I don't want to build up like, uh, there's no point to that madness. Um, okay, so this should be pretty good. We're going to have bigger blocks for this. Um, I think I'm just going to cut them like this. And there we go. So this is... This is a wider branched area. I almost want to put, like, go down like this, but that's, no, that's going to be bad. Okay, so let's start to put some more housing over here. So this is all going to be housing up here, you guys. We're not going to focus at all on business or anything up here. This is just going to be the area where people can build their homes and start their lives. 
Okay, so more parks are needed. Parks all around. Everybody gets a park. Okay, so park, 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 and a park. Now, some of these might need a park, so we'll just place a park here and a park there. So, there we go. We should get maximum house building, and they'll all look very nice and be super wealthy. Um, now, I don't know if I want to even start tapping this area yet. Kind of want to leave it for if we do decide to do tours. I'm going to leave that all up to you guys. If we do decide to do tourism, I would put, like, an airport right here. Uh, we would put a boat landing right here. We would have some road out to it. Um, and then that way we could have a whole bunch of tourism and we could save this whole area for all the tourism stuff. Kind of like Vegas. Vegas just has a strip and then there's a whole bunch of houses all around it. So this would be all the houses and then on top of this mountain would be our strip of entertainment. And I think I know how to do it well this time and we won't lose our asses like we did in Aviatortopia. We went too fast, too furious in Aviatortopia. Okay, so how, how's our water situation now that we're providing our own water? Holy shit, we're good on water for years. Uh, our electric situation's perfect. Sewage is great. It's being pumped out and out of here to, uh, um, you know, slum dog. Okay, so let's see. Are these houses... These houses are middle class. We got a couple wealthy people moving in here and there. Our population's coming up. This city's turning out a little bit. So I'm not going to touch that city until we know what to do with it, you guys. So we need a name for it in the comments, and we also need to know what to do with it. I'm really thinking tourism, though, because we have the waterway. We have an area for an airport, and then we could just have, like, the strip and stuff here. So, uh... You guys can make the decision, though, so let's hop back in the Futurama, because Slumdog, not much has been going on. Uh, I finished the one Mega Tower, so the population's closing in on 100k, it's not like 90-something thousand, and I think, I think I'm going to leave Slumdog for a while and just let it kind of build money, so like I'm going to work off screen, and then maybe one day hopefully come back and be like, look at what we've done with Slumdog. Okay, so they're building the next story of our Elite Tower. We could start another Elite Tower right now, because we do have the money, we do have the funds. What is he saying right now? unsatisfied apartment level and they're only unsatisfied because they are like sick like the wellness center is not doing its job yet so there's another elite tower we're gonna start building they can start construction on it let's get another level going here some more apartments no malls in this one yet and they're only medium level residents in this one I might make one whole tower or at least the very cap of the tower for wealthy people at first because I'm kind of afraid I wish you could kind of edit these because, like, if I don't like it, I, I don't know if I can delete level by level or what. So, let's see. Let's see. I, I can click. Nope. I don't think I can. Yeah, it's it's all or nothing. You can't bulldoze. Wait, what was it? Yeah, I know you can bulldoze this. See, you can... So, it's like, do you want to do all that? So, you can only delete the whole thing. You can't only, like, cut down one portion, which I think that's freaking stupid. For one, because like, what if I want to change it and have more medium level? It's like, no, you can't do shit. You can't do shit. <laughs> okay, so let's see how our new Omega Co. Factory is doing. Um, hmm. So this is their first day of production, pretty much, because they produced zero yesterday. About 20, or 2,000. Um, ah, that's not very good. Let's see what our franchising is at right now. 16%. We're making about 16 grand, so our money's down. But at least we don't have that problem anymore where we weren't producing enough Omega. So I'm thinking it's just going to take us a little bit to kind of gain some speed and start taking over more businesses. But as you guys can see, we got to get to $25,000 in franchise hourly profits to upgrade this again. I already did this upgrade. No, this upgrade. Commerce, yeah. I did Commerce, which gives us the Voltal Pad, Heavy Lift Voltal Pad, Raw Ore, Crude Oil, and Processor Center. So actually, we unlocked this. I didn't show you guys this. Um, so basically, it's a huge trade port. It's freaking giant, and it holds massive amounts of crap. And a lot of you guys are like, oh, no, you built your things in the wind, so now all the pollution comes. And yeah, I did. I did. So that's, that's probably one reason everyone's so sick, is because all this pollution is just blowing in their face all day. <laughs> oh, me. Me, me, me. Okay, so let's see. Look at that. That's beautiful, though. Nice purple pollution. Who doesn't want purple pollution? Okay, so let's scroll out of there. <laughs> okay, so let's add more levels to this. How many levels do we have left in this one? Uh, oh, just the cap now. Okay, so there's the Elite Tourism Crown. Uh, Biodome. Hmm, the Biodome. That's 80,000, 300,000. Okay, so we could just do the advertising. But that's stupid. Let's do a Biodome. What does this cost us? 1,200 an hour. It's like a giant park. 
Okay, Elite Tourism Crown. It's going to cost us more money, but it's going to be sexier. Okay, so we're going to spend the 300000 on that. Let that go up. Now, this one, maybe we're going to make this a high wealth tower. I didn't do that yet. I've been afraid to do it, but we're going we're gonna to do it. High wealth tower, this one will be. Um, and then we're going to put a sky bridge on it, too, and hopefully we'll be able to build off on this. I don't know if it has to be the same level in order for the sky bridge to work. I hope not, because that would be stupid. <laughs> There's so many things that would be stupid. I have the hiccups. Okay, so let's see. So this city is going very well, like I said. We're making a shit ton of money. Um, now I'm just going to wait on you guys to tell us what to name this city, this new city, as Aviator Utopia gets goodbye forever. Ah! <laughs> and what we should kind of make it into. But until next time, you guys, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy.